So number one off of the review. Um, there's no magic way to get to the second derivative. Right? There's no formula, rule, like there's no way to do that. You just take the first derivative and then take another derivative to land at the second one. So again, there's no there's no magic formula to get there. We just have to get step by step. So 2y, y prime minus 2x equals 0. So there's my first derivative. I used y prime. If you prefer dy dx, you can do that. Either one is OK. So y prime equals x over y. OK, that's not too bad. All right, move the 2x over, divide by 2y, the 2s go away. So there's first derivative. That was nice. Second derivative, though, if I'm going to take another derivative of that, what rule will I have to use? Quotient rule. So f is x, so f prime is 1. g is y, so what's g prime equal to? y prime. Okay, Not just 1, but 1 y prime. That's the chain rule going on. So the second derivative then, I guess I'll switch my notation to match what it asked for, although it wouldn't be wrong to leave it as y double prime. But just since it explicitly asked for the second derivative in that form, I'll write it that way. Okay, gf prime minus fg prime, because the gf has to come first. It's the only way these things work. So gf prime has to come first, so that's y, minus the other direction, xy prime, all over g squared, so all over y squared. Okay, well, that's the second derivative, but it doesn't really look like uh, what I'm supposed to get. Let's get rid of the y prime because I don't have a y prime in my answer. So let's y minus x times y prime we found back here was x over y. So we'll plug in the plug in y prime. Do you remember the algebra trick that we do next? Because we don't like that y in that denominator. How we clear that denominator out. Let's multiply top and bottom by y. I have to distribute, but we know how to do that. So y squared. But the second term, the y is canceled. That's why we multiplied by the y to make the y go away. Minus x squared over y cubed. Uh, again, I keep I keep comparing to this because that's <coughs> I'm supposed to get that as an answer. I got y cubed in the bottom. I'm getting close. Do you remember what we're looking at now? Right, the top equation equals 36. That's what we started with. So that is equal to 36 over y cubed. So that one wasn't too bad the second time around, hopefully. And if you see it a third time around, it'll be even, even smoother. You get to kind of get the feel for that type of problem. And the big deal is you got to look back and use that original thing again.